with one chiropractic and we're still on this topic of neurologically based chiropractic and we're on our fourth session with Dr. Sullivan and man, I'm loving this conversation. You blew my mind in the last session and I'm excited to kind of pick up where we left off and we were kind of talking about maybe those patients and, and everyone's had it where they come in and you just didn't feel like, man, that, that, that adjustment just didn't go very well. I didn't feel like I got done what I wanted to get done, but yet the patient comes in and they're still singing your praises and you're like, okay, you know, great, but I didn't feel like I did much on that last session. So let's kind of pick up there and, and, and let's dissect that a little bit more. Yeah, I think that every, no, I, I don't think, I know every chiropractor has had that experience and uh, we've all had experience and I, I would just, I would just um, have you, I just don't want you to miss this. I think that, um, you know, my brain just goes to the place where I'm like, well, I'm, I'm in tune to that and I, I can't put on the back shelf. I have to have a reason and an explanation for that. And I want you to, and it's like, that begs an explanation. What happens that you put an input into their spine and like amazing things change outside of just their, their spinal health, right? And I always say, it's like, how is it that things that are seemingly unrelated, seemingly, I love that word, seemingly unrelated to the spine are influenced by chiropractic and not only like a couple times, like have been influenced in the last 120 years, like incredibly, you know? Um, so, it begs the question, and I hope, and it'll go back to the last session, and I, I got a little bit geeky on you the last session with some evidence, but, I, but, but it did put some meat on the bones, I feel like, for me to understand this spine is so loaded with neurons in and around the spine, and the movement of that spine is going to dictate whether or not that, that information, that afferent input into the brain is, and I'm not going to call it, I've gotten myself in trouble because it's not normal or abnormal, Aberrant is a different definition than abnormal because it is absolutely normal for that distortion to occur in, which is this, it's, it's absolutely normal for when the distortion occurs in the muscle spindle or in the mechanoreceptor for that to send a signal into the brain that says something's wrong, right. that says there's a stress here. That's normal. That's, that's a fever going up because your body is dealing with some viruses. It's a similar concept in that the body's doing the right thing at the right time perfectly. Yeah. So that's, you, you have to know that because of that, that distortion is occurring and then it's sending that feedback. So, but the feedback is sending that there for the brain, as you described, and I'm sure Dr. Barlow did so well, and saying it wants that to be changed. Right. It, it doesn't want to deal with that long term. It's sending the stress response, sympathetic dominant state to deal with it, to get rid of it. And it's never intended to be there long-term. That stress response is so great, right? To get out of, you know, the, the way of a tiger or to overcome a stressful situation or to pick up a car that's sitting on a kid, right? You have this, like that's what the sympathetic dominant state is for, but it's for there for a short period of time. And what we find in human physiology is you can name any chronic disease and you, you're gonna see a heightened, a, 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 a lengthened amount of sympathetic dominant state. Well, what we know to be part of that is the subluxation puts the body into a sympathetic dominant state. And if the subluxation stays there, then the body stays there long-term and it was never intended to be there. And so what it looks like in terms of labs it, is that you've got a, a, an increased amount of stress hormones, norepinephrine, cortisol, and these hormones. W then we look at studies from 2011 that used a PET scan, Ogura, a guy named Ogura, there's a PET scan, $3 million PET scan. After an adjustment showed the reduction, the change of the sympathetic system a reduction of salivary amylase, which is an indication of sympathetic dominance. He did it again in 2017, uh, Heidi's work. We see all this work being done to show this is the stuff that explains why you put that input in and that you didn't think it was like a big deal, but it's a big deal. And so I say that because the more that we understand it, and, and, and again, back on the last session I talked about, it's all because, not because chiropractic, I, I say this with all due respect, right? Because you are the same thing. It's not because, you're so, it's not because chiropractic is so great. And it's not because you're so great at being an adjuster. If we can, to me, have the kind of, I don't know, I would call it maybe the, the, the intellectual conversation, but it's also kind of the mature conversation. It's not, and I'm with the one that preaching it. I'm the first one, the chiropractic school, but it really isn't because chiropractic is so great. It's because the body is so great. It's because their intelligence, because God made this amazing earth vessel Chiropractic is so great because it recognized that it is so, that the body is so great and the intelligence is so great and that there can be this stress and that we could actually have a vehicle and a profession surrounded by that simple fact. 
And that's why we sit here and say, man, I want you guys to understand. I want the world to understand and we have to understand better as a pressure. So anyway, I know I kind of threw up a lot there. But. I, I love that. But, but I want to I wanna tip off because this just popped into my head when you were saying this. We know everything you just said is true because of pharmacology. Right. I mean, pharmacology is created to to trick the brain into believing something to create a, a, a visceral response, not visceral, but to create a response to that. Right. So if cholesterol is high, we're going to introduce another substance that tells the brain to push it. Right. It's the same thing. I mean, the adjustment right. is just a more natural way of affecting that same process. So it's funny to me, as you were saying that, I'm like. Science, you know, first of all, pharmacology isn't science. I love how they say it's evidence-based when we know that 90% of that stuff is... They, 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 they say it's settled. it's settled science in their eyes. Exactly. But still, that mindset has okay. proven what we're saying the adjustment does, which is why we're able to get people off drugs, right? And we're able to create the similar response for the body, but do it more naturally and, and then break up those patterns. So I was just thinking that as you were saying that, I'm like, that is so true because... We know that exists in other forms of healthcare, but they do it by cutting and, and drugging and all that stuff. But how awesome is it going to be? And this is the world I live in, right? I tell people, you know, they called me Skittles when I was with the Ohio State Chiropractic Association because I told them I pooped rainbows. Like, I just believe in a world that is going to exist where there's a chiropractor on every maternity ward because we just know how powerful it is to make sure we're creating that input right from birth and we're removing any kind of interference right from the birthing process. Because I believe that's a word. I believe every sports team is gonna have a chiropractor on staff because they get how important it is for that correlation between the spine and brain and health and an active lifestyle, just like we see with the Olympics. And so what happens when the world gets it? When they get that, they bought into the pharmaceutical model, right? Because we brainwashed them and told them health's at the bottom of a prescription bottle. But what happens when our world actually gets that we can give them that same effect, but more naturally and more appropriately without all the negative side effects? That's the world I live in. And my daughter just started Sherman. She's in her first semester at Sherman or quarter at Sherman, which dude, talk about a proud moment as a father that your daughter's mm, going to become mm. the very thing that you've committed your life to. It's just awesome. You know, and my son's going to follow in her footsteps. And so both of my kids are going to be chiropractors and they're going to change the world in their own way. And our mission, should we choose to accept it, which I know you and I have, is to make sure the world is a better place for that next generation, that they better understand who we are as a profession and where we fit within their life choices and their health choices. So that's just, Man, awesome. that, that gives me goosebumps just to, you know, I, I, I guess I didn't recognize that. I know you were, you were choosing and, and, and we've talked about it with your daughter, Anna, that it, it, you're exactly right. And I think that the other piece that I want to propose is that um, when you say the world adopts it and when they start to see the value it, it, five years ago, I would have said that, if I could just show some more evidence to some people and I could just show them and I could just like, you can't deny this. And I would just, you know, kind of set that as my track. It's like, I, I ended up in some research centers and proposing this. And although I would say maybe got some, you know, groundwork, all the research we definitely needed, like it's all that stuff. Right. But I will say this and Baron, I know you'll agree with me on this. I'm convinced right now today that the only way, and again, maybe it's the wisdom that, that God has imparted among me the late, as of late is like, I'm convinced that the only way this thing goes is when enough of us chiropractors step up and continue. And you've been involved in this profession longer than I am and actually more in, in more circles than I, but I just, I, again, my point is like, I, cause some of you would say, well, man, if, you know, if we get Dr. Dan on here, or we get Dr. Chestnut here, or we get Dr. H you know, and I'm telling you that right now, what happens is it happens grassroots, just like any movement. I mean, you look at the civil rights movement, you look at uh, any big movement has occurred from, from grassroots. So what that means is we need more of you telling this message, understanding it, cultivating, and, and knowing that what you know is right and what you've seen is right. And now we put some meat on the bones in terms of what you're, the message you're putting out, the deeper you understand it and the more conviction you'll have and the more drive you're willing to go hit, get people. That's what matters. Like I had a buddy of mine that just was flew in, you know, to your point of, of, of teams, he flew in and, and uh, uh, just last week and, and uh, he always, he was at a seminar and I was talking to him and then, and then he was flew in from San Diego on his way back to the East Coast and he stopped in Cleveland uh, because he's the, he's the personal uh, Cairo of, of Odell Beckham Jr. And, and he's done videos with him and it just reminds me of like, it's more of that, more grassroots people like, oh, De oh he, sits, he gets chiropractic care from a principal chiropractor, not a guy that's doing all that oh, stuff, it's great, that other stuff's fine, but he does it, he does it, adjust them, does a couple things, on the plane and back up. And so, and Odell will only like, that's his guy. 
Yep. So I say that because it's more of us doing the thing. You are part of this major movement. That's how it's going to happen. It's not going to be from one little thing that tips the eye. No, it's you. And so I just can't encourage you enough to say the course and do what you know you, you, you're capable of. That's exactly right. You know, I, I tell people all the time, we're not going to legislate and we're not going to litigate. That's not what's going to cause this to happen. Yeah. There's a very futile mechanisms, right? The only way this happens, it's the only way anything's ever happened in our world, is when enough people get irritated enough to do something about it. And, and that's the way that one chiropractic is structured that's why we created our organization the way we did we just want a bunch of people that want to see something different we want to disrupt the way that we've always done it and you know it's a definition of insanity einstein said it that you can't solve a problem with the same mindset that created it and and, and this series hopefully is a start and the other things we're doing is one grateful patient and you know partnering with people like you and and other people in our profession that are just ready they're ready for a conversation and we're going to work together to get that done so man i, I tell you it, it's just an, an incredible privilege and honor for me um, to, to do this and, and to share with you. And we're, we're going to do one more video with Dr. Sullivan and I'm going to let him kind of wrap up his last thoughts and stuff on this next session. Um, but I just thank you so much, doc, for being a part of this. For those of you watching, thank you for continuing. I mean, we're on session 27 and you guys are still mm -hmm going and I, and I love it and, and I appreciate your commitment and the feedback that you're giving and uh, and, and I just I'm, I'm just glad this series is going the way that it's going so keep watching keep sharing we're gonna do one more session with dr. Sullivan and then uh, we're gonna move on to some other great people that we're bringing into the conversation so we love we appreciate you continue to bless those around you go in with confidence this week believing in who you are and what you do because God doesn't make mistakes and he called you to this profession chiropractic which means you have a purpose to serve and we know you're gonna do it so we love you we appreciate you God bless.